Installing an elevated freeway in our Lego city proved to be a lot harder than I thought. It was too long and flimsy to install in one piece. I tried installing in shorter sections and even in just single sections, but every time I'd get it in place and then try to connect the pieces, everything would collapse. Tried a couple other different things, kept having things fall apart, including this disaster, which unfortunately I didn't get on camera for you, but you can see the aftermath. So we went back to the drawing board. Couple issues causing us problems here. Number one, we had not developed the landscaping plates in the middle of the table yet, so we had some supports with temporary bases on them, and those just weren't working. So I redid those bases, uh, make them a little bit thicker on those supports. That would give them a little bit more staying power and they're less likely to tip over as I'm moving pieces around. The bigger problem was getting these pieces connected. Individually, each of these sections of freeway is relatively flimsy. We tr were trying to keep the piece count down with the idea that you get a bunch of them linked together, they would be strong and that was gonna be the case, but getting those connected was the issue. Every time we have to put a little force horizontally on these sections to press the pins together, the whole thing would collapse. So we needed to eliminate the horizontal movement to get these pieces into place. I thought if we got rid of the Technic connectors, then perhaps we could bring each piece straight down on top of the supports and then connect them another way. So we're gonna try that on this section of pavement. See how I came straight down onto the supports that are already in place, and then I snap the pavement and bridge onto those supports, okay, and it's connected, and it looks pretty strong. Now, we still have some gaps along the seam in our pavement. What we're gonna do then is go back, take those Technic pieces we already eliminated, put them together there, and then what we do is we press that piece into that gap, and then you can't see my other hand is underneath the bridge, holding everything in place while I'm snapping all of it together. This is working out a lot better. We don't have to push the pieces onto each other with those Technic connectors. And as long as you're giving a little bit of support on the bottom, as I'm pressing those pieces in, everything's going together really well. So now we keep repeating for each individual section and we're not having any of those problems like we had before with things collapsing. And as I suspected, while each of these individually is a little bit flimsy, once you get a few of them together and connected properly, this structure is really strong. I've got about half the freeway together here and you can see I push on it and it really doesn't budge. So I built the freeway out like this on both sides to meet in the middle and here's the last section. Putting that in very carefully and we have ourselves a freeway. And here it is, four wide open lanes going the entire length of our city. I would love to tinker with the design a little bit more and maybe add some on-ramps. We'll see how it goes. Definitely we're gonna be adding some of the big green freeway signs at some point soon, so stay tuned for that. But for now, the whole reason we wanted to add this freeway is to display a bunch of the vehicles we have. So we're adding a bunch of those onto these wide open lanes. Trying to have a little fun with different genres too. If you look closely, there's a couple of Harry Potter cars here, and then we got Jurassic Park, Arkham Asylum Ambulance is motoring along here. I like how this turned out. Hope you do too, but I would love to hear your comments. Hope you're subscribed because we have plenty more we want to work on with our Lego city. And a reminder, parts list and instructions for all of our road system is available at our website, hofbuilder.com.